When you're creating database tables, in addition to primary keys, you can also specify foreign key constraints. The foreign key keyword specifies which column to use as the foreign key, and it's typically a primary key to another table. And you can use the foreign key keywords in a create table statement, or you can even use it in an alter table statement to update a table later to add a foreign key. So let's try out this exact code in MySQL Workbench and see how we can create primary and foreign keys. So first let's create the director table, which has three columns, director ID, first name, and last name, and we're setting the director ID to the primary key. So let's execute these statements. Now the director table has been created. And now let's create the movie table. So I'm just gonna copy and paste that. Okay, here is the create table for movie. We specify movie ID, which is gonna end up being our primary key. We specify director ID, which is gonna be a link to the director ID of this director's table. And that's gonna be the foreign key in this table. So we say foreign key is the director ID just referring to this field right here, this column in the same movie table, but it's referencing the director ID up here from the director table. So when we run that, that will give a foreign key constraint in our movie table. Let's run the command show tables to see our two tables. And there they are, there's director and there's movie.